Hi, this is Luke Scriven here at Vision Forward. Welcome back to another In Focus Tech Talk. In today's Tech Talk, we're going to be looking at reading emails with your iPhone, or rather having them be read aloud to you. And if you're familiar with Siri, you'll know that you can already send emails with your iPhone pretty easily. However, what you can't do is have Siri read aloud complete emails to you. But there is a way to do this. Quiet phone. There is a way to do this. You can use the Outlook app from Microsoft and actually have Cortana read those emails aloud to you and link Siri to Cortana so you can ask Siri to read those emails and then Cortana will read them. Sounds complicated, but it's really not, and it works really well. So let's take a look at what we need to do. All right, so we have opened now the Outlook app, and I have synced my email account to it. And now we're going to take a look at both how to turn on the Read My Emails feature and how to sync it to Siri so that we can ask Siri to read our emails, therefore allowing us to have our emails read to us completely hands-free. Now, the first thing we need to do is go into the menu, and the menu is located at the top left of the screen. It's a, uh, a circle, a colored circle. I'm going to be using voice over here, but visually you could just tap on that. But let's hear what that circle sounds like uh, with, with voice over on. Inbox, menu, Lucas Grieven Optic Search. And there we go, we heard it said menu and then it started to read my email address. Like I say, that's located at the top left of the screen and when you first open the app, that's actually where you should be focused. Let's double tap to go into the menu. Selected, lucasgrievenoptics at gmail.com. Unread messages, button. Now from inside here, we can uh, take a look at our various email folders, but what we're interested in doing is going to the settings. And so I'm gonna to swipe to get to the settings. And uh, if you're doing it visually, it's located at the bottom left-hand side of the screen. There's a cogwheel that you would tap on. But let me yeah, use voiceover to get there. Add a new email at help and feedback settings button. There we go, we heard settings button, and we're gonna double tap to open that. Close button. So now it's opened up our settings menu and we're focused on the close button at the moment. Now what we're looking for is read my emails and that's gonna allow us to turn on that particular function. So let's swipe until we get there. We will have to swipe quite a few times, uh, but uh, let's give it a try here. Settings, general, help and feedback, set default mail app, mail account, Google Lucas, add mail account, storage account, Google Lucas, add storage of mail. Notification, default, signature, swipe option, focused inbox, focused inbox, focused inbox, organize, organize, show contact, show contact, show contact, play my emails, button. And eventually we got there. Now we could have used our three finger swipe to uh, scroll down that list. And I think if we had done that once, play my emails should have been at the top of the list there. But we just used our single finger swipe instead to get there and that was fine. So let me go ahead and double tap on this to go into play my emails. Mail accounts, heading. Now it's showing me the different mail accounts I have set up and I'm gonna choose the ones that I want to turn play my emails on for. And I only have the one account here, so we'll turn it on for that. So there's the account. Let me double tap to turn on play my emails. Account, heading. And now for some reason it takes us to another account page, I don't really know why, but this is where the button is to actually turn on play my emails. If we swipe once, we'll get to the email account. Lucasgrievenoptics at gmail dot And now I'm going to swipe to the button that I need to press. Lucasgrievenoptics at gmail dot com. Google. Switch button. Off. And we heard it was off at the double moment. Tap to toggle setting. And if we double tap it, we'll turn it on. Now a pop-up comes up, and it doesn't actually read anything until we swipe, but this is just basically asking us to confirm that we want to turn on this feature. I'll swipe so we can hear what it says. Close. Play my emails. Get time back in the day. Try now. Button. And there's a try now button. I'm going to double tap. Try now. Alert. Safety first. Next we get up a safety message. And it's just telling us not to use this while we're driving. If we're vision impaired, this is probably not going to be a problem anyway. But let's hear what it says. We'll swipe. Use caution when listening to emails while doing things that require your undivided attention. 
Touching your device while driving is not recommended and may be prohibited in your community. All right, fair enough. Let's swipe to the got it button. Got it button. There we go. We'll double tap to confirm. Alert. Outlook would like to access the microphone. Now, we have to allow this app uh, to access the microphone because we can use our voice to do certain things like move to the next email and delete emails and move emails and so on and so forth. I'm going to swipe um, until we get to the OK button to allow uh, Outlook access to the microphone. To use play my emails and voice search, Outlook needs access to your microphone. Don't allow. OK button. There it is. I'll double tap to confirm. Hello. Welcome. I'm Cortana, and I'll be taking you through the unread emails in your focused inbox from the last few days or so. I'll also let you know when an email makes more sense to read later. After each conversation, I'll pause and listen to give you a chance to take action if you want. You can ask me to flag, archive, pause, go back, go next, and skip an email. You can also do many of these things to a whole conversation. When I finish an email, I'll mark it as read, which you can change in the settings. And if you ever need help, just ask me, hey Cortana, what can I say? Pause. Play. Okay, I'm just going to pause it there. And so we heard a little uh, help message. Now this does seem to pop up quite a lot, uh, different help messages before it actually reads the email. I actually find that a bit annoying. You might be able to turn it off in the settings. So, so far we have successfully turned on the ability to have our emails read and as we heard those are read by Cortana but we need to now sync this to Siri so that we can ask Siri to uh, ask Cortana to read our emails and we're going to do this by setting up a custom uh, setting. So the first thing we need to do is go back to our settings menu. I'm going to find the back button in the top left. Close. We could have also swiped backward to, uh, uh, we could have swiped to the left to get there. I'll double tap to activate that. Selected. Lucas Griven Optics at G. Now we're inside our general menu, and I'm going to swipe to the right to get to settings again. Add a new email. Help and feed settings button. And we'll double tap here to go into the settings. Close. Play my emails button. All right, now we're back inside the settings menu and we're still focused on play my emails because that's what we had previously been doing. I'm going to keep on swiping. We're going to look for something to do with Siri and uh, this will hopefully allow us to set up a, a custom Siri command to have our emails read aloud to us. Let's go ahead and swipe to the right. Contacts. Default. Sort by. Calendar. Notification. Default. Week start. Week numbers. Integrations. Siri shortcuts. Set up quick actions via Siri shortcuts. Button. Aha, there it is. Siri shortcuts. Let's double tap to go into here. Siri. Record custom Siri shortcuts to access quick actions without opening Outlook. Heading. And so we can actually set up the Siri shortcuts to uh, enable us to perform actions without opening Outlook. We have three options here. Let's swipe to hear them. Next meeting. That's one of them. Running late. There's another. Play my emails. Aha, this is the one that we're interested in here. I'm going to double tap. Play my cancel button. Now it's taken us to a screen which has basically set up this custom command that says when I say to Siri, play my emails, it will activate the play my emails command in Outlook. This has all been set up for us, so all we have to do is find the OK button or the done button and it will uh, it should work from there. Add to Siri. Heading. Add a custom phrase Siri can use to tell Outlook to run this shortcut. When I say, play my emails. Clear tech. Do. Play my emails. Add to Siri. Button. And there we go. There's the add to Siri button. That's all we need to do. We're going to activate this. Double tap on it. Play my emails. Play my email. All right, so this should all be set up now to allow us to ask Siri to read our emails. Now, theoretically, we should be able to do this outside of the app. Um, I haven't had a lot of luck with this yet, but let's try it now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, close the Outlook app here. App switcher. Outlook. Outlook. Now, I'm going to use Siri to open 
uh, to try and read my emails here. I could use Hey Hey Siri, but I don't have that set, uh, set up on my phone at the moment. So I'm gonna hold down the home button instead and we'll try using that command, play my emails and we'll see if it works. Play my emails. Interesting, so it didn't seem to work there. Um, normally it would open up the Outlook app, but then from there it wouldn't start reading or reading automatically, or that was at least my experience. Let's go ahead and open the Outlook app ourselves. We can use Siri to do that too. Open Outlook. All right, so here we go. We've opened up our Outlook app. Now let's try using that same command within here and we'll see whether it works or not. Play my emails. Menu, close, button. Right now you've got six emails to hear about. This'll take a few minutes. Done. Yesterday afternoon, Close. you emailed button. yourself about goodbye. You wrote, that's all I have to say for now. Goodbye and have a great rest of your day. That's the end of your first email. When you hear the sound, you can tell me what you'd like me to do. If I don't hear anything, I'll read the next email. Delete. I'll delete. Done. Close. Button. Yesterday afternoon, you emailed yourself about me again. You wrote, I hope you are having a wonderful day today, and I hope your demonstration is going well. That's the end of your first email. When you hear the sound, you can tell me what you'd like me to do. If I don't hear anything, I'll read the next email. Archive this. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video on using uh, the Outlook app and Cortana to read your emails. I think it's really useful because definitely uh, some people struggle with using VoiceOver on their iPhone to read their own emails. And so if you've got a simple way to do it just by using your voice, then all the better. So why don't you give it a try, see how it works for you. And of course, if you have any questions, you can get in touch. There's three ways to do it. You can uh, email us in focus at vision-forward.org you can go to our website, vision-forward.org, or you can give us a call, 414-615-0103. Please give us a like and subscribe, it really helps the channel, and hit that notifications bell. And why don't you put in the comments there uh, how you feel about emailing, how easy it is for you, and what do you think could be done to make it a little easier on smartphones. And with that being said, we look forward to seeing you in the next video.